Om Shanti. Let's explore the 342nd day of a godly blessing where God wants us to make our attitude, our vision, words and actions royal and equal to his first child known as Brahma or Adam. So let's explore this heading today. Baba says, may you make your attitude, vision, words and actions royal with spirituality and become equal to Father Brahma. So, let's get into the explanation part. God says, follow Father Brahma. Now, Brahma, many people don't know about this. Brahma himself is Adam. Jagadamba is Eve. So, Brahma has been known as the father of spirituality. But God says, I am the creator of even Brahma. Because Brahma is a physical being and Supreme God Father is an incorporeal being who doesn't have a physical body. So the father of even Brahma is God Father Supreme Shiv Baba. Or we call him Shiva. So God Father says, follow Father Brahma. In the royalty you saw in his words, activity, face and behavior. Obviously if he is God's first creation, his character his activity, face, behavior will be very royal, even more royal than any human being on this earth or any royal being on this earth. So Father Brahma never let his intellect spend time on trivial matters, on small matters of yours, mine, his, theirs. He was above all those things because he's the father of humanity. Father doesn't mean the physical father, but the spiritual father of humanity. He never spoke ordinary words. Every word was Yukti Yukta, that means with spirituality within it, which was going to bring about happiness or peace or love to every human being. That's how every word was spoken. There was never any crossness, that means nothing of this world, since he was completely viceless and he was not at all concerned about worldly desires. So this, these words which came out from his mouth were not of any crossness of this world. But they were full of avect feelings and good wishes towards all souls. That's why he is the father or the spiritual father of humanity. And the spiritual father of all souls is Supreme God Father Shiva who is the incorporeal father. Not the Shankar or deity Shankar whom we know. There is a big difference between Shiva and Shankar. That is what we learn at Brahma Kumaris because many people think of Shiva and Shankar as a physical form. And that's a big mistake. Father and child cannot be the same. So God then says, But they were full of avict feelings and good wishes. His attitude towards all souls was always full of good wishes and pure feelings. How can the father of spirituality have any impure feelings towards any soul on this earth? He constantly saw everyone as an angel. That means he saw every goodness in every soul. And because of seeing every goodness in every soul, other souls used to bow down in front of him. They could never feel that he had any wrong motives, any impure motives. That's why they did not feel threatened because of Father Brahma. Because Father Brahma saw angelic qualities in every soul. So nobody felt threatened through him. He constantly gave everyone happiness with his actions and he received happiness in turn. As you sow, so shall you reap. Follow him in the same way and you will be said to be equal to Father Brahma. That's what Supreme God Father wants us to do. He wants us to follow the first creation or the first child and the first child is Brahma or Adam himself. So how do you come to know about the secret? How come Brahma is Adam? All that is explained in depth in Brahma Kumari's Godly Spiritual University in the 7 day Raj Yoga meditation course which is given to everybody in this world for free in 150 plus countries and all the centers around the world. It's free education. God doesn't charge his children for any money of truth. So truth can be cannot be bought by any money. So you can understand the hint over here. Have a blessed good night. Om Shanti. Mm -hmm.